All right, in this video, we are going to work on or look at, uh, I guess you can call it like a, a boot animation or something for your custom live wallpaper. As you can see here, notice how we kind of have like a little animation coming out. And making this full screen, uh, if I go to uh, some other you know thing on my custom live wallpaper, I'm just cycling around through them. Uh, I suppose like, you know, play some music, whatever, you cut your phone off. Of course, your music's still gonna play. Uh, cut your phone back on. Of course, I got power amp powering up, but nonetheless, if I log in, notice we have a boot animation kind of like to bring in your custom live wallpaper. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. So let's have a look. So inside of KOWP, I'm just starting from a blank slate and uh, I'm trying the stylus now. For those of you who've been watching videos, you know, I've gone from using like my tablet on my computer to using my cell phone. Now I'm kind of using the stylus. Maybe you can see this little dot floating around. Maybe you can't. But nonetheless, um, I'm going to go ahead and add some items into here. And I'm going to do this quick just for tutorial purposes. So let's put a, a square as we have it right there. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll pop it in the top left. And I'll just uh, put a little bit of offset on it to put it right there. All right, let's take another shape. I'm going to copy and paste this. Um, let's change this to a circle. And I'm just going to bump it over here and I'm going to bring it down here. Um, let's copy and paste this. Basically whatever you have. If you have any, you know, uh, talking about animations and stuff like that, you got to have them inside of your root um, as we've discussed or I'm sure you know by now. I'm just going to add a couple of shapes. Whoops. Alright, a hexagon. Let's bump it over here. And I'm going to do a few more. Let's do uh, what's some other shapes we got up here. Uh, a triangle. Obviously, I want to make this a. All right. And here's what the anim as I'm just adding these pieces up here, I'm going to add one more. Uh, basically, I want these to kind of fade in or spin in or something like that once I unlock my phone. And I'll tell you what, one more item just to kind of give it a nice effect. And of course, you can change your colors, but obviously you're going to be doing this with bigger groups of information, I'm sure. And what's, okay, oval, how about that? All right, so here's what we want to do with these things. Um, I'm going to go back to the square. Let's have the square on unlock. So I'm going to animation, go up here to add an animation, and let's do this react on unlock. That's the thing that you can do to have like a, a, a boot. I call it a boot animation, I guess you can say, when you unlock your phone. And I want this thing to uh, scale out but I want it to do this um, inverted. That way when it boots up, it'll do that. I think that's gonna be right. And I want that to do, I want it to last one second. I want it to be delayed by like half a second. That way, um, cause sometimes this can get a little bit behind uh, when you unlock your phone, depending on where it was when you cut your phone off. But just a little delay there. I'm going to copy and paste this animation and I'm going to do it into my circle. So let me go over here to animation for the circle, paste that. But let's have the circle uh, fade in, I think. Is that going to be right? Mm. I'll tell you what, here's what we're going to do. We're going to save it. I get the fade out, fade in mixed up every time. All right, saving that, I'm gonna power my phone off. I'm gonna power my phone on, and let's see what we have here. Okay, so here's what I need to do. I need to go back and actually change the scale out piece. So going back to my square, go over to animation, and let's do it on, actually I think if I just put this back on normal, 
Um, that should be okay. So this should scale out after it's booted up. Um, let's go to circle. We have it fading. And let's put a little bit longer delay on it. Let's put like a, a one second delay. So basically this right here should scale out or zoom out on us. And then this should fade in while this is animating. Um, if I have this set up right. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Cut the phone off. Alright. Cut it back on. Let's unlock. There's your square and there's your circle. See that? That's like a boot animation. And now we can have these other things doing all sorts of different pieces. So let's go to the hexagon. I'll have this one maybe sliding in from the right coming over here. So uh, animation, let me paste it. I want it to scroll. And I want it to be normal. Um, delay, let's do a second and a half. So 15 down there. And Okay, so I think I do want to set this because it's going to scroll away. So if I go to, um, I think if I go to scroll inverted, no, let me set this on scroll. And let me go down here and put this on inverted. Yeah, that's going to work. So uh, let's watch this. Let's back out, let's save. Go back to our home screen. Okay, you don't even see the hexagon up here. All right, cutting it on. Unlocking. Okay, and that is not what I want it to do, Dag on it. I want the hexagon to come into the screen. So let's put this back on normal. Is that going to fix it? Let's find out. Trial and error here, folks. Boom, boom, boom. All right, there's your boot animation right there. What do we want to do with the triangle? Let's apply two things to the triangle. So I'm going to go back to my triangle. I want it to do uh, something like what the square was doing. So that should be okay for the square. I think I had to set that back on normal for the ease. Um, also what I want it to do though on unlock is I want it to rotate. And I'm showing you these delays. Let me put some delays on this. So what I have here, I had 5, 10, 15. This needs to be at 20. And let me go back and set the uh, delay on this one as well. So that way it's going to zoom out or scale out on us. And it's going to be rotating at the same time. And what do we want to do for this oval down here? I'm pretty sure that, tr that triangle is going to be right. The oval animation. Let's see. What's some other random stuff we have here? Um, scale out vertical. Okay, let's see what's going to happen there. And let's bump that up to 25. So basically everything's going to be happening a half a second apart. And it's going to kind of like trickle down maybe, I guess. Um, we'll see what happens. All right, cutting our phone off. Cutting our phone on. All right, so we kind of, as you can see, though, all this stuff is happening on unlock. I bet if I cut my phone off a little bit longer, because what's happening is when you lock your phone, I think it's applying those animations too. Maybe I could be lying about that. Let's see what happens now. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. See how each one kind of had its own effect, and it was a little bit delayed as we moved across here. Now, like I said back at the beginning, obviously you're going to be doing this with overlap groups with different items inside of it. If you remember back at the beginning of the video, I had like a little rotating animating square with a circle cut out. And then I had my music popping in behind it or some type of circular dock. So uh, you can apply these things. Um, and just the, the secret here, it's no secret, but the, the trick here is to use unlock and apply whatever animation you want to apply. And that is how you can create a boot animation for your custom live wallpaper. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.